Hey y'all, welcome to the Clock Tower. I'm Colton, here with Brandon. We have finally made it to Worlds. The final weekend of the Bushiroad Championship Series is coming up, and a World Champion will be declared. Saturday, the 28th, it looks like 55 different players will descend on Los Angeles. There were 57 qualifying spots, but a couple of those are duplicates because of players who finished top three in multiple tournaments. So about 55 players in Los Angeles this Saturday. The winner will walk away with, of course, the world title and also a special hot-stamped 0th generation 2-1 anti-burn, anti-reverse counter. Everyone who made Worlds will receive a playmat and a hot-stamped Dragon Maid PR as well. So definitely a lot of really nice prizes for those who qualified. There will be stuff to do for people who did not qualify for Worlds but still want to play some cards. It looks like everyone who arrives in the venue will be getting a Avatar PR Vanilla, as well as anyone who plays four games in the Free Fight side event they will get a Ankimo PR from Hololive. In addition to the free fight, there's also the eight-man mini-pod. Anyone is allowed to play. Single elimination tournament. Top two will receive a mystery prize while stock lasts. Venue opens at 10 a.m. Pacific and is free to the public. So yeah, there will be seven rounds, or at least there are time slots for seven rounds it looks like all of the tournaments for vanguard and weiss will take place at the same time there will be a break at 5 p.m pacific and then they'll cut to top eight then top four and then the finals this is it this is what everyone's been working towards and obviously congratulations to the 55 players who have qualified we talked at length about what decks we expect to see what we expect will perform well at these events so check out our previous clock talk for that tier list and that breakdown so a lot of good players will be there some of our friends will be there so we'll be rooting for them of course as we look ahead during worlds itself during the stream from somewhere between 4 to 6 p.m uh, pacific time so right after swiss rounds they're actually going to also do the English conference stream on the live stream for Worlds. So looking ahead, they'll actually tell us some of the things that are going to be happening coming up for Weiss, as well as some new releases coming out. With that, they sent out some clues as well on Twitter, uh, four different clues to kind of help prepare us for the upcoming stream. The first clue uh, was an arrangement of five stars which is likely the Review Starlight bundle that they also announced about a week later. Yeah, they have announced Review Starlight Relive. The mobile game set will be getting an English release, release date July 7th. They have not confirmed that that is what the star pattern was the clue for, but that star pattern is very specific to the Review Starlight Relive logo. So I think we all kind of anticipate that that is the case. There were three other clues, however, that have not been confirmed, although a couple of them feel pretty obvious. The first one being GUI, and that's it. That was the only clue. Yeah, we expect that to be Slime 3 coming out um, that just released in the JP format, and given our release schedule, that would time out to be about right for that kind of one of those next releases added into the schedule as well. Yeah, it just makes sense. It's a follow-up to a popular series. It gets played. It'll sell very well. It just makes sense for that to be ported over to English eventually. Has potential to win worlds. Yeah, Clinton Chan is playing it, and uh, I would not bet against him at all. The next clue was just a gif of a boat, which I think most people are assuming is going to be Azure Lane, which another thing that kind of makes sense, it's popular enough over here for it to make a splash in terms of sales another you know recent jp property so that one it would make sense if it were azure lane there are probably a couple other options there but that seems to be the general consensus and then finally there's another one with emojis for a nose and a game controller which the initial response suggested it was going to be another Psychono set 
a third Saikano set to follow Saikano flat. However, there's also been some rumbling about the possibility that it's Guilty Gear because of the connection with the title of the opening theme for the game. Um, Guilty Gear being a fighting game. We haven't had many video games in English Weiss. I think the only ones that are not you know, tied also to you know, kind of an anime first property are the Persona games. So it would be something to get like a Guilty Gear English original off of this. I don't think we have a lot of room on the schedule for English originals right now, unless we're like really talking end of 2023, because we do have Avatar The Last Airbender coming out very soon. But yeah, that is also a possibility that has been brought up. Brandon, do you have any thoughts on what these might be, or do you think that we have them pretty well solved? I think that these are pretty well guessed out. Um, the toughest one definitely being that nose game clue. And there were certainly some people that were able to correlate the intro to Guilty Gear Strive being the smell of the game, being kind of the clue that that could be the most tied in with. So I think that that's kind of why, kind of leaning towards that seeing that potential English original, but I think that last clue is the most open to interpretation. So we're looking to see what that could be from the stream that comes out. That stream will be on Saturday the 28th from 4 to 6 Pacific time. It will also cover all of the other games in English. So they're going to be talking about Shadow vs. Evolve. They're going to be talking about Vanguard. So not a Weiss-specific stream, but there will be um, some Weiss news in that. Likely the announcement of these three sets, in addition to kind of reiterating that they're giving us Review Starlight as well. Going back to Review Starlight for a second, I don't think this really shakes up Review Starlight's viability in the modern meta it really needs the movie set to be viable uh relive just doesn't have a lot that it adds um to starlight's power level which is a shame because i really like review starlight i would like to see it be good but it does still feel like it is a set away maybe this is one of those things where they're gonna you know announce relive and then follow up quickly by announcing the movie set maybe that's a possibility but as of right now, I don't think the announcement overview Starlight changes Starlight's position in the meta. At least not yet. Not unless we also get the movie set at some point. So looking at the schedule. Still waiting on Kaguya 2, February 17th. So we're still a few weeks away from our next set release. We'll get the power-up sets mid-March. Dal 2, Bang Dream 5th Anniversary. Sword Art 10th Anniversary, the anime edition. Saikano Flat and Fruits of Grisaya will wrap up May. Quince movie June 2nd, Avatar June 16th, and now review Starlet Relive on July 7th. Still waiting for dates for both Chainsaw Man and Spy Family. With luck, we will get a date for something among those. Although, I would expect Spy Family to maybe get its date from a JP stream, just because that is expected to be a simultaneous release. Chainsaw Man also probably in that same boat, being a JP set that is yet to even have a JP release date. Closest thing we have to a release date for Chainsaw Man is supposed to be um, early 2023. Early is... Right, clearly relative. Um, but yeah, we still expect to see Chainsaw Man, probably and Spy Family, both sometime in the back half of 2023. It's worth noting that for JP sales, that they're only up through April, currently for release dates. So Chainsaw Man could be released as early as May. Yeah, that's true. There are definitely some spots open early in the year on the JP side, which would mean that if that was announced for, you know, spring of 2023, we would probably get it late fall, early winter 2023. Yeah. And I think that's it. Thank you for joining us. We will be back in two weeks to talk about what happened at Worlds as well as what happened during the conference. Yep, we'll go over those results, we'll go over some of the announcements that were made, and we'll be able to put together a bit more in-depth picture as to what the spring season will look like going forward. Not too much later after that, we'll be actually putting together our Spring Fest overview of some of the different decks we expect to see and those matchups. But in the meantime, we'll have gameplay on Thursday. Brandon will have a deck tech next Tuesday. We'll have gameplay the following Thursday. Thank you so much for joining us. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. We'll see you then.